this is our UK adventure. So we have come to the end of our Brit Rail trip Yay. where we went to like Edinburgh, then to Wales and then finishing up in London. So which one was your favourite part of the trip? I think it was London. Mm. At first like I, I thought, I think Scotland and Wales are very nice places to be but then I prefer city stuff so London was actually pretty nice and the people are quite nice. Yeah, not, not just like the English but also like the Scottish and the Welsh, right? They were all like really nice to us. Wales was pretty nice because it was a very quiet place. But I can totally understand because we were like conditioned as like city kids. So yeah. we, are more, we are more comfortable in London. But yeah, I mean each place is, has its own like perks. I think my favourite part, right, was the fact that Travis made me watch like Harry Potter. Yes! All the way. She had not watched Harry Potter like in her life! Or even read the books! <laughs> so I was like, no, Sherry, for like homework for this trip, right, you have to watch like the entire series. Okay, like, she didn't make it to like Goblet of Fire, so I'll give it to her. Yeah! <laughs> it was very nice actually, like I think London is really a good place for like people who love Harry Potter. Potterheads. Yes, yes. Potterheads! <laughs> I read the books when I was very young as well, so this was like a very like, it's a, yeah, it was kind of like a refresher course and it was also like a very good experience as a Harry Potter fan as well. And I think if you're a HP fan, you should definitely head down yes. to London. It should be on your bucket list, that's yeah. for sure. How was Stonehenge? Well, Stonehenge was really very cool. I think you have to dress appropriately. Yeah, okay, okay. Here's, the, here's the thing about like this trip. The thing is, it's very cold in Edinburgh and Wales, but London not so, at least for this trip. So, the I guess the trick is to like bring a lot of layering, like clothes that you can layer with so that 
you won't feel freezing cold in certain places. How was Snowdonia? Snowdonia! Where is Snowdonia? Yeah, we took the Snowdon Mountain Railway. Rail. Sorry, our, the name is something like that. <laughs> it felt like the Victoria Peak in Hong Kong. It's not 45 degrees, uh, it's just like a very gentle slope up. Though it took 45 minutes, the scenery is very good. And we walk along. down! Yeah! Walk down. I would highly recommend that you don't take the train down, but you hike yeah. down instead. Yeah! Hiking! <laughs> Takes yeah. about like two hours. Fish and chips! Fish and I chips. love fish and chips. For some reason, their fries here are not very like crispy, which is... Nah. Which I love. I, I, like, I love soggy fries. fries. And it's thick cut fries. Flat iron steak was very good. I think it's worth the price. Yes. But you probably have to head down to like get a queue number. Yeah, with a UK number, so you must get your SIM card yeah, when you okay, head down there. That's about it, I, I think guess. that's about it. I think everybody should definitely make a trip to UK. Yes! Very interesting vibes. People are very nice. Oh, you must catch a West End musical! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Travis was so happy because he went to watch the book of Mama! It was hilarious, I swear. It's amazing. And we got it so cheap. Yeah. Relatively cheap. It was £40. You can get it like half price. I think you can get Phantom of the Opera for like £20. Pounds. So it's actually a pretty good deal and the view is good regardless of where you sit. Yay! Yay! Bye-bye! Okay.